finally made it. We were here for a week, week early, but today is the day. Today's Friday. Uh, we are in Yasathon, Thailand. Rocket Festival, so once a year uh, for three days, a lot of people come here and they build homemade rockets. So tonight, uh, Friday night, they have a beauty contest. Uh, beauty contest, they've got uh, a lot of street food vendors behind me, and then uh, there's also going to be the rockets on display. So tomorrow there's going to be a parade, and then Sunday's the big day. So I have no idea what to expect. There's really not a lot of information online, but we will take you along the journey to see the rockets. Already the music is very, very loud. I don't know how the microphone's gonna hold up, but basically what you have is you have multiple stages competing with each other. So while you might have one stage playing a certain type of music, you may have another one five feet away playing something completely different. The beauty pageant begins. So they've got Mr. Mr. Yasathon, Mrs. Yasathon, and Mr. Ladyboy. As you can see right here, the contestants are lining up. Quite frankly, I can't even tell who's a boy and who's a girl. So I've, I've lost my mind. Maybe it's the Chang beer, I don't know. I do know one thing though, tonight's gonna be pretty fun. This is one of the floats right here. This is one of the rockets that they're going to be launching. I don't know if this is an actual rocket or just a float. Definitely looks like it has some sort of uh, charge in it. These things are massive. I mean, this is one of the smaller ones that I've seen. All down this row, beautiful displays of, of handiwork. Should be quite interesting come Sunday to watch these things go up in the air. Finally the day. So today is Sunday and I've already started seeing some rockets come by on the back of trucks. People getting ready. The loudspeaker you could hear from our apartment since like 6.30 in the morning. So make our way to the festival. Behind us you'll see some launch platforms. They've got rockets for sale. Street vendors. I think the judges are over here judging the rockets by their height and whatnot. Now these things can be quite dangerous. People die every year. I don't know how many people but uh, the way that that happens is the rocket kind of goes either chaotic or just blows up on the spot. Hopefully that does not happen today. We're gonna keep our distance. You can actually go on the grass way over there and observe from, from pretty close. But these things, I mean, you're talking 100 kilos of, of black powder. From what I've been told, there's different classes. Uh, 50, 100, 150, it should be quite interesting. Currently making our way up to the launch platform. See if we can get some better shots of the rocket without getting blown up. So they're, they're currently shimming it in place. Uh, looks like they're trying to get the trajectory right, right angle, kind of strapping it down. They're running the electrical charge up so they can, so they can uh, hit the igniter. It's pretty big. I think they get a little bit bigger than this though. I think I'm gonna get back a little bit. So Moonbang Phi is essentially, there's not a lot of information online. The festival's technically from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but in reality it starts on Wednesday. So from Wednesday to about Saturday night, it's just non-stop partying, drinking in the streets. Uh, there's stages set up, speakers everywhere, everyone's dancing, they have free concerts. And then this is the big day. Tons of different teams, uh, they all create a big rocket. Basically they're judged on how high they go, 
It's getting quiet. I wonder what, uh, I don't want to speak Thai, so I don't know what, exactly what they're saying. Maybe they're saying, get, get out of the way. The rocket, they have these little rockets that are that are probably uh, anywhere from two inches to six inches, and they'll almost be the same type of construction. It's like a shrink wrap almost, but I think these might be made out of PVC. And the, uh, the bamboo, there's a bamboo shaft. Imagine like a bottle rocket, how it has a stick, and then at the end it has the, the the actual rocket itself. So these things don't go boom in the air. It's just, it's essentially just a, just a big rocket. And as you, I mean, these things are huge. There's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine guys hoisting this thing up. We've, we've seen them driving down the road on the back of their truck. They hang over the cab of the truck, out of the back of the truck. So, uh, very, very big. And they have one, two, three, for five launch sites here. Uh, so far, it's I think it's 9:30 in the morning. So we're like I said, we're a bit early. I expect this place to just get absolutely packed full of people as the day goes on. People are uh, moving away here, getting out of the field. I'll probably uh, I'll probably do the same thing here, just to follow suit. I mean these things get so smoky too. I think right here's the electrical charge line. Which are ran back to a uh, ran back to the launch launch site so straight up in the air. Sometimes they get a little wonky. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Beautiful. So they're hoisting up the rocket right now. Let's go look at it. I can't imagine. This thing's gotta be pretty heavy. 50, 70 kilos. Oh. So it looks like they had a winch back there, uh, and there's a pulley at the top. So everyone was kind of everyone was kind of dragging it up. Now everyone's going to climb up here and help uh, help secure it. A mission control back here. Uh, this is where the ignition takes place. The countdown. Uh, this is Houston right here. This is it or not, but uh, it's definitely possible that, that uh, at the end of the day we'll see uh, losing teams. I think if their rocket fails, then they, they have to go in the pit. I don't know if this is it. It's quite possible that it is, though. Uh, you can see stages being set up. Uh, and I think it's like 9.30 in the morning, so beers are being drunk. Uh, over like this. Pretty well.
You can't even see where these things go. They go so far. They close air traffic. You cannot fly around this area right now during the festival. Oh, I see some parachutes. Parachutes? So we were wondering how they recover these things. Uh, Brad heard that there's parachutes. Some people were saying no parachutes. And honestly, this is the first parachute we've actually seen, but you can actually see the humongous rocket floating down right now. It's, uh, there is a science behind this stuff. It's not just stuffing black powder into a tube and open for the best. Uh, they have banana leaves that, that protect the parachutes from the, the fuel source so they don't get burned up and they're able to come down because it is a competition. One leg of the competition is, is whose rocket stays in the air the longest, including fall time. So if you have a rocket that takes a long time to get down, but not necessarily a slow launch, well, you still may win. So. Again, I don't even know uh, how this thing works. I don't speak Thai, but it's a really fun time. Oh!